my channel. Welcome back to another video. I'm Messy Jesse, and you're watching. Hello again, y'all. Welcome back to or welcome to my channel. Messy Jesse is making a return because I'm just I'm just not in the mood to be in a button up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you are new to my channel, usually I film in a button up and a bow tie. I really love the vintage aesthetic. I really love bow ties. I always have. Dapper fashion is my thing. It's what I do here on this channel. But there are days where I just want to be in sweats. You know what I'm saying? So today. For today's video, we are going to be unboxing this big haul that I purchased from Out of Print. I bought all of these things with my own money and I just kind of wanted to share them with you. I really, really love kind of bookish accessories and hauls and I'm not really going to be buying much bookish merch this year because I just spent way too much money last year. So this is probably potentially the last haul you're gonna see on this channel for a little bit and I don't even do hauls very often as it is. So I just feel like they're a nice break in the content that I usually make. So hopefully y'all will enjoy this video. I'm just gonna pull things out of the box and show you. The first thing that I have here is this Where the Wild Things Are mug. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that mugs are a huge, huge thing for me. I actually collect mugs. I collect three things, mugs, vintage collectibles, and bow ties. I really love that this mug is slender instead of round because I have little, little paws. Oh my God, this is even prettier in person. I need to buy and reread this book. Shoot, no, I just said I wasn't gonna buy books. I mean, oh my gosh, this is, I, I need to use this in my next Spilling Positivity video. Wow, gorgeous. I don't know why I sniffed it as if there's gonna be some kind of scent in there. Okay. Also, I could not resist these Where the Wild Things Are pins. Oh, I lied, I also collect pins, God. Wow, I'm literally the worst minimalist that has ever lived. Ever since I joined booktube, I suddenly started buying things when I'm just usually not the kind of person to buy things in general. And I mean any kind of accessories, even books. I've always gotten my books from the library. And now, this is my life. Oh my gosh, just look at these pins, y'all. I cannot wait to add these to my pin flag. Oh, they're freaking gorgeous. I've also got a typewriter and coffee enamel pin set, which I think are really cute. I'm going to be doing a lot of writing this year because I am writing a book. I don't know if it will ever be published, but I'm going to write the book. Even if it kills me. And I just think that this would be really cute inspiration. And I just realized that I lied about another thing. I also collect pouches. Okay, I just think minimalism is no longer a term I can use to describe who I am and I need to accept that. Wow. Wow. You have to understand, I barely had furniture until a year ago. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even put things up on my walls. I've always felt unsafe if I am rooted in a place. If I have more things that I'm able to stuff in my car at a moment's notice, I feel unsafe. And that's for a number of reasons. But ever since I got into booktube, I feel like I've become more rooted. I've started collecting art and bookish stuff and journaling and getting physical books. I got a bookshelf. I've never had a bookshelf in my freaking life before. And I think a big part of that is because I feel more comfortable now than I've ever felt in my life. And a big part of that is because I'm on booktube. That is so interesting how even just like a simple hobby such as uploading videos on YouTube can change um, kind of the way that you navigate your life. Although I do really want to maintain my roots the idea of being a minimalist and I'll have to find a really healthy balance somehow. Not today. I also ordered a ton of pouches. Like a ton of pouches. Why am I like this? Why am I like this? Why am I like this? Why am I? Why am I like this? Why am I? If you can't tell, I really love where the wild things are. This is so big. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> nothing's rubbing off, but it kind of feels weird. It just feels oddly stiff, so hopefully the fabric will loosen up, but the colors are gorgeous. I bet the reason that this uh, pouch is so stiff is because of like the dye used to dye the fabric. I bet that's why it's so vibrant. But I travel a lot. I'm actually filming this um, hours before I get on a plane to go to New York City. And so I really love pouches because they help keep me organized on my travels. I usually don't pay for checked baggage because I think it's such a waste of money. So I really like things like this to keep my small bag compartmentalized and my stuff separated from each other so that I can grab it easily and not have to be kind of digging. I don't know who digs like this. Not, not me. So I also saw this pouch <laughs> and I had to get it because it was one of my favorite books as a child. Nostalgia will make me buy things. 
This is a Curious George pouch. Uh, comment down below if any of you watched Curious George the show or read the books. I still remember those bright yellow covers and they were hardcover and I would knock on them and they were so shiny. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? <laughs> is he walking a rabbit? This poor creature. I think the rabbit's trying to run away. Curious George was cruel. I actually ordered this well over a month ago, so I don't remember all that's in here. This is not something I recognize. <laughs> like, why do I have this many pouches? It's wildly unnecessary. Eventually, I'm gonna need to do a mug collection video for y'all, a pouch collection video for y'all, and then a bookish enamel pin collection for y'all. <laughs> this is a pouch that says, raised by books. <laughs> Get it? Because it's a wolf. Books. Okay, it's midnight, so I can't make the noise loud because my neighbors are gonna like bang on the floor with a broom, you know what I'm saying? Otherwise, I would be a more convincing wolf. And I love that the wolf is sitting by a stack of books. Super freaking cute. I think it's applicable though, because I think a lot of us really were raised by our books. Those of you who identify with that statement know exactly what I mean. And this looks like a big tote. Oh shoot, I also collect totes. Fuck. Minimalism is dead for me. That awkward moment when booktube changes your entire identity. So I guess Marie Kondo is coming to take my books and my pouches and my mugs and my enamels and my totes. This is a classic literature tote and it says read dead people. Fuck yes. I believe this is Zora Neale Hurston. That's gotta be Zora. I'm reading one of her books this month for Blackathon. Help me out y'all. I don't remember who all these people are. Emily Dickinson, and then two random dead old white guys. I'm going to leave this up. Y'all can make your guesses on who you think these people are, and then I'm gonna look on the website and see who these people are. Cause I, I don't know. I love this because in my most recent Jesse's Deck of TBR video, my February Jesse's Deck of TBR, I pulled the dead end card, which is a card that tells me that I have to read a book by a dead person. And I picked Straight Lick with a Crooked Stick by Zora Neale Hurston for that card. So I find it really ironic that I'm unboxing this today. I have my TBR cards near, so I'm gonna see if I can find that dead end card so I can show you, just in case you're not familiar with Jesse's deck of TBR yet. So this is the dead end card. Read a book by a deceased author. Oh my god, I got a Clifford the Big Red Dog. I'm gonna look like such a high schooler while I'm running around with these pouches. I'm pretty sure her name is Emily, right? Emily and Clifford. Gosh, now I really want to rewatch the show. Stop. I loved those books so much as a child. So far, I think the Where the Wild Things Are stuff is my favorite and the Curious George pouch because I loved those colors. But I'm super excited for that tote bag. I bought a Where the Wild Things Are tote. Yo. Oh my God, I need to stop peeking in the box because I keep spoiling it for myself. Get out of my way. Move, I'm gay. Here is a Where the Wild Things Are tote that I forgot that I actually purchased. Story and Pictures by Maurice Sendak. Wow. Do y'all remember when Maurice passed away and how sad that was? I still haven't seen the movie Where the Wild Things Are. Comment down below if you enjoyed it. I know there's kind of mixed reactions to it, but it looked so surreal and just really interesting and I never got around to it because I, I feel like it would make me too emotional, you know? I really, really loved this book as a kid. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to run around with this tote. Oh, and look at the back. Wow. Also, the quality of this is sturdy. It's very, very sturdy. This is definitely a tote that you can take on trips. I think there's one more thing in here. All right, I pulled it out. Okay, so this is the last thing. I'm gonna not spoil it for myself. <laughs> pros over bros. I mean. Bruh. Yes. Pros over bros. <laughs> all right, y'all. That is going to do it for this video. Let me know what you think of all of this merch. Let me know what your favorite piece of merchandise was. If you're going to be purchasing anything for yourself, I will leave the out of print website link down below so you can check it out if you want to. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love it if you became a part of my dapper family. All of my social media links will be in the description box below and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Thank <laughs> you.